Nyamira County is situated in the western highlands of Kenya in the former Nyanza province. It covers an area of 894 kilometers squared with a projected population of about 632,000 people. Located in the southwestern region of the country, the county borders Kericho to the east, Bomet to the southeast, Kisi to the south, Homa Bay to the west, and Kisumu to the northwest. The county is divided into five sub-counties which include Nyamira, Borabu, Masaba North, Nyamira North, and Manga sub-counties respectively. In total, the county has 20 wards which are headed by members of the county assembly, commonly known as MCAs. The main cash crops grown in the county include tea, coffee, bananas, pyrethrum, and local vegetables. Walk with us as I take you around this beautiful county of Namira to learn about the agricultural activities. So you have seen, you have seen them, and I know you may not have all the time to stay at my place. Taking us round his farm. John Nyangarama, the governor of Nemira County, revealed that his county is among the most fertile areas with vast green covers being seen throughout the year. Well. Governor John Nyangarama is a renowned farmer in Nemira County, farming from all types of livestock, such as dairy cattle, sheep, goats, poultry, and tilapia, as well as catfishing, among others. Yeah. Few cows. These animals you know the. If you come here alone, if you come here alone, they will not, they will not get up. If they were sleeping there, they will continue sleeping. But when they have heard my voice, they will come, thinking that I could have something new to give them. <laughs> <laughs> give them molasses, and they feel happy. Oh, okay. very, they really feel very, 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 very happy. Yeah. So I have uh, six cows. Some, some, some died, unfortunately, not three of them died here. Yeah. When they have eaten here, they go and sleep there. Because you, can see, you can see where they sleep. The governor also grows hectares of tea estates, coffee, maize, bananas, and local vegetables, among many other agricultural products. Here we have... Uh, we bring cow dung. When I wake up, I'll have a talk up in a poor mixed maji, maji and apple. Then it generates uh, uh, gas, biogas. And the biogas goes into that building for cooking and uh, other domestic work. Apple, Now, when 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 the, the cow dung has uh, been exhausted in terms of uh, removal of, uh, of, the, of the gas, it becomes uh, soft manure. It becomes very useful. That is what we use here. This is the pandia, maindi, marawe, nakirakitu, natural. Whatever we eat here is uh, natural. Yeah, so come. This maze was disturbed, it would have uh, gone high, but uh, you can see what happened. The armworms attacked uh, this, this garden. There is another one outside here, but uh, they, are, they are sort of recovering. We get a lot of maize from a very small place because of uh, the manure, what we get from the so the animals, we, we buy feed or we, we cut the grass, which is uh, nipia grass. They eat, we produce uh, cow dung. We use the cow dung, uh, we, we use the cow dung to produce uh, uh, biogas. And the, what remains, we bring to the shamba as a residue. And uh, what we get from the shamba, we give to the animals and then the circus complex. The 
Though he is excelled in the kind of farming that he practices, Nyangarama attests that the biggest challenge that is causing most farmers to shy away from practicing large-scale farming in Nyamira is the lack of water. Because of lack of rain, we do not have a lot of vegetables now. We have a tree all across from there to the end. Because when it rains, it collects some water from the, from the road as you came down. And, uh, and, uh, and, and I found it was, uh, it was destroying us. It was destroying the area. It was destroying the relationship. Peris Mongare is the county executive member in charge of agriculture in Yamira County. She shares more on Yamira's agricultural activities. This county of Yamira, the people here depend on agriculture, is the mainstay. While as we are talking of 80% uh, in the country, here it's uh, 90%. The potential is very high. And uh, in the department, we have uh, value chains that are priority. The first one is dairy. Uh, because when we started in the, uh, at the onset of devolution, that is 2013, uh, the department looked into areas that can uh, elevate uh, people from I mean, uh, poverty and food insecurity. Then we found that we had to prioritize our value chains uh, together with the uh, our stakeholders, like the key one is the uh, agricultural sector support program. We worked together and they did the analysis and the dairy became number one. Milk production in Nyamira has been on a steady rise with the demand overtaking production by 45 million liters. The county government also employed, um, I mean purchased 40 motorbikes and one specifically was for AI services that will support the dairy. We have seen uh, uh, a remarkable improvement like in the productivity per cow. We were getting around 5 litres per cow and now we are at about 10 to 13. All this because of the support of the county government. We started with dairy farming and uh, what we did in dairy farming is that we we, we, we reduced, uh, in order to get, uh, in order to get uh, good cows, uh, we we reduced the the, 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 the cost of uh, uh, artificial insemination from about 1,500 to, to about 3,000, and we brought it back to 500. And uh, as a consequence, we have seen uh, a lot of uh, uh, good daily animals. Uh, we expect that uh, in the near future we'll have a lot of milk. We shall sustain our, our, our count uh, milk-wise.